Okay, so this is the first part I created. I'm an Autodesk inventor building the step stool. First thing I did was create the top. It's eight by 13, extruded out by three quarters of an inch. You want to change the material right here to birch wood. Okay, and you also want to put these radiuses on the corner and fill at the edges. Once this is saved, I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to call this Part 7. Okay. The next part I'm going to create are the apron. So I'm going to go File, New, Standard Part, Create. And the aprons I'm going to draw, I think, in this plane right here. And I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm actually going to make this rectangle the end of it. So I'm going to make it three quarters. Have two inches high. Enter. I'm going to finish that sketch. And I'm going to extrude this out nine inches. Okay, so that's nine inches long. And then from there, I'm going to change the material to birch wood as well. And I'm going to save this, file, save as, part eight. These are my aprons. And then now, lastly, I need to make the legs. So I'm going to go file, new. I'm going to create a standard part. Uh, I'm going to create a 2D sketch in the XY plane. It's going to be a rectangle is where I'm going to start it. And I'm going to go over seven and up six right click okay i think i'm going to finish that sketch like that extrude it out three quarters of an inch as well um and this is birch wood okay i'm actually not done drawing on it um so let me click on the little house here and I want to cut that little radius in here. So I'm going to create a 2D sketch on this plane. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a radius. I should be able to snap on that center line right there. It's a four inch diameter. And I'm going to finish that sketch. And I'm going to extrude that circle back through. OK. And now I'm all finished. I'm going to save that part. Save as. Uh, part nine and then now that I'm all done I'm going to create a new assembly so I'm going to create a new assembly it doesn't really matter what part you put in first but it will be fixed I think what I'm going to place is um, the top which is part seven so I think I'm going to place that first right click OK now I'm going to place the aprons and I have two of them so I'm going to place one and one, right click OK. I like the 3D mouse here a lot. And I'm going to constrain it. First thing I'm going to do, I need three constraints. I'm going to make the top of that to the bottom of that, apply. Then I'm going to make it flush from there to there. And I think that should be a two inch offset. Uh, we'll make it we'll make it negative two to send it back right nine and thirteen apply and then I'm also going to make it flush on this far side here so I'm going to make that to that flush and then was that a half inch offset okay so I have three degrees of freedom there I have that all constrained I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to make that piece to that piece, apply. I'm going to flush that to that, the half inch offset. No, that's not a half inch. That, that's a two inch offset. And then I'm going to flush the outside of this apron to the outside of the top, and that's a half inch offset. Okay, so after I'm done those constraints, I like grabbing these and making sure 
that there was no way for them to move around. I'm going to place my two legs in there. Actually, I'm going to place my one leg in there twice. Right click OK. I'm going to um, constrain them. Again, three, three ways. I'm going to make this plane. that plane apply I'm gonna make top of that to the bottom of that apply and then flush the outside of this to the outside of that apply so that looks pretty good I'm gonna do the same thing on the other leg I'm gonna make that to the bottom of the step I'm going to make the inside of this to the end of those, apply, and then flush the end of that to the end of that, apply. Okay, let me hit my little house here, get it centered. That actually looks good. If I grab any of the parts, I can see it takes all the parts with it. So I'm going to hit File, save as um, in the same folder. And then my last part, after I assemble all of my parts in here, the third and final piece is I'm going to create a new drawing. So this is a standard DWG. And we're going to use A landscape paper. The default is C. So I want to go up here to drawing resources, sheet format, A landscape. But when I create a new sheet, now I'm at sheet two or two, so I need to go back and delete sheet one. And that's going to be too big, so I delete that. Okay, so I want to place, move this to the side to see what it's going to look like. Let me try one to four scale. One to four is a pretty good fit. Um, I think I'm going to place that view. So I'm going to place that right here as my front, my top, and my right side view. Create. And I have all my hidden lines in there, and that's what I want. Now I'm going to place, um, let's get the ISO top right, looks like. Yeah, that looks good, but it's going to be too crowded here. So I'm going to actually put this in a maybe one to six scale yeah that looks good right there click right click okay oh this one i want shaded so let me delete that do that one more time so i'm going to place i right, said so top right one to six this little button will shade it and this right here i'll give you your hidden lines and this one will remove them so that's why i have my hidden lines my multi-view. Right click, OK. So that looks great. I'll probably be able to build that. This is a little crowded right here. I could still pull them apart a little bit. And as well, if I want to change a part, like if I wanted to go back to this top part and say put fillets around the top, I could always do that. Um, and then if I save it, those changes will be put into my assembly. And it will also update in my working drawing. And then lastly, I'm going to go to annotate. I need to put some text in here. So I want to make sure I put my scale in here, one to four. Oops, one to four. There's my scale. I need to have step stool, my name, the date. And then the other part of annotate are my dimensions. I just click up here. I can put all my dimensions in, and I want them, you know, legible and not crowded. A couple of the important dimensions on this are going to be like my offsets, like how far in I want those pieces and parts. Any questions on any of that? Now I'm going to make sure I save this file. File save as. I want to save it. And then the other thing I'm going to do here besides save it, I'm going to go up here and go file export. And I'm going to export it as an image. And I'm actually just going to save it on my desktop. And then off of my desktop, 
I'm going to go to my Google Drive and I'm going to upload this image. And I'm going to take this image, Bobby, and put this image on my portfolio. Any questions at all?